Some phones in on anything? I know, yeah. I like her. She's usually reliable. Well, it's the same everywhere these days. You just can't find stuff. Mm. So, uh, how does it feel having your stepmom work for you? Well, you'll always just be like Bev to me when you're working at here. Yeah, but when I'm not working at here, I'm married to your dad. And I do have to say, I think he's spoiled her. Um, I don't think so. Everything we have, we've worked for, we've been given nothing, actually. Uh, how about the house that you just sold to a drug dealer for a massive profit? We gave that 25k more than the asking price to my dad. Yeah, well, I think you're fine. He only sold it to you because he thought you were going to stay where you were. Uh, perhaps it had too many bad memories for me, like you trying to burn it down with me still in it. And what's the point of bringing up that kind of history at this occasion, eh? Do you know, I can't believe you put me in my place. In my place on my dad's wedding day. Well, it's got to be set. I mean, you don't have to like me, but we're family, and well, I want us to get on. Yeah, you're right. Maybe I don't like you, but I love me dad. I'm actually going to be great for him. So from today, do you think we should just wipe the slate clean and start afresh? Agreed? Agreed. And yeah, she just saw the came and went. Oh, she was around at the same time, but you are shot Katie's fiance. Clint. And I killed him at him when he broke into his house. What a rocking. I went through him. Thought you could fight violence with violence, as if that's ever the solution. Show me dad now. I am. So what do I call me old dad? Could be a difficult one, this. Well, um, you got two dads. I had two dads. Well, I used to call me great granddad father, so you could call Ron father and my dad. No, no, he couldn't. That makes me sound like a priest or someone from Victorian times. Your dad and my slightly big brother. That sounds about right. Hey, looks like you sold that one. Mm -hmm. Hey, listen there. Do you remember I should say a few words? What to us? No, to the guests. It is a wedding reception. <sighs> I suppose so, but uh, just keep it laid back. I... Oh, wait till the bed. Can I say something to them? I suppose so, yeah. You got anything worked out? Do you want to tell them about the new dad? That's nice. And now my old dad, Mike, was crap. Josh! <sighs> so, Beth. And this new baby, when it's born, it's going to be my niece, nephew, sister, brother, or what? She thought I've lost a granddad. Mm. <laughs> Look, we are just one big happy family. Come on, big hugs. Because mwah, it's just the three of us now, eh? No matter what we call ourselves. Strange, isn't it? What? How happy my dad, Bev, and Josh are. Not so long ago, it seemed there was no hope for them. Not really. There is hope for us, but not together. Are you absolutely sure this is what you want? Yeah. And I don't want you torturing yourself over it. We'll split after today. I don't want to ruin your dad and Bev's celebrations. I think I'll try and enjoy ourselves then, might we? Hale, well, there's no point getting off your head. Can't wait for Christmas to arrive. Do you think he'll do it? Oh, yeah. I know with him they'll have a bag full of presents as well. I just don't ask where they got them from me. <laughs> you heard? I saw Father Christie on the cross yard. He told me all about it. Yeah, no problems from Michelson from now on. Well, let's hope so. Where are you going? Just something I need to do. I'll be back later. Flashbacks, don't they? I mean, this could affect him forever. Oh, that's probably not going to happen, all right? I mean, he's not, he's not like a regular user, is he? It's just this trip we've got to work on. Trip? What a stupid word. Yeah, well, it's, it's just what everyone says, isn't it? So it was taking him somewhere for a good time instead of you know, poisoning him. And well, then what's happening to his little body? Well, he's sedated now. So he's not going to get freaked out, not knowing why colours and shapes have all changed. And how long will that be? be able to get hold of it so easily. But this can't happen again. It shouldn't be allowed to happen to anyone. Okay, come on, what's up? Nothing. Well, you've had a face on you all day. What's the matter now? You're happy for me. Yeah, of course I am. I said I was, didn't I? Well, try and show it, will you? You're going to spoil it for Rachel? I do not believe that, man. Maxie. Yeah, I've just found out the real reason why I missed the wedding. Why? Well, someone at the restaurant called the waitress having dropped with the short order chef. Where? 
where they shouldn't. Yeah, what does it where they shouldn't sometime in a life? Not on my new brittle. Ooh, sounds nasty. Oh, it is. Don't realise how hard it's been trying to get staff for the season. No, right, you are, yeah. Oh, what is up with him? No, I think I notice he's had a cop on him all day. Maybe he's disappointed at the lack of flamingos or something. I hope you've got an excuse for not coming to the ceremony. We had a job to finish off. What's that supposed to mean? Well, there's some things it's best you don't know. <sighs> Look, sometimes there's only one way. And what was that way? I want to know. We just had a quiet word with Michelson and he won't be bothering anyone on the close again. What do you mean by a quiet word? Violence? It's all he understands. Look, it's done now. It's done and dusted. Since when did violence ever solve anything? When you're dealing with a dealer. Let's leave it at that. I think he got the message loud and clear. I hope so. I hope he was far, far away. Yeah, well, maybe that's exactly what he's thinking right at this moment. Hello? Hello? Can everybody hear me? Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> Listen, don't worry, don't worry. I won't keep you long. But I would just like to say, on behalf of my wife and I, hey! how very happy we are to see so many friendly faces here today. You know, there was a time when, when I was so low, so absolutely desperate to see a friendly face. And it's a time like this when our thoughts stray to family members who can't be here to share our joy. My youngest son isn't here. He, uh, he died, tragically, nine years ago. It was an awful time. And obviously, I felt great bitterness towards the person responsible. But since then, I've grown to know that person, and I realise that he's not. Well, he's not a callous killer, and, and I would like to state publicly that's partly due to meeting the love of my life, that I forgive him. But nevertheless, losing a child is the worst thing that can happen to anybody, and it was the lowest point in my life. So I must be the luckiest man in the world to be given a second chance of happiness. What have you been off to, Jimmy Corker? No. Yeah, don't be so suspicious, Shane. I've just been getting a breath of fresh air at the top. Haven't been on the circle building sites again. Sabotaging. In your wagon suit. Yeah. If that bloke Garl thinks he's going to frighten me off, he's got another thing coming. Go ahead. <laughs> and I'd just like to say that I'm going to do my best to make sure that every day is as happy as this one for my new family. Case. You know what everyone crying? Hey, we'll save that for his funeral, won't we? <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed to be a happy day, so can you keep away from the mic, please? Mate, say something. Yeah, why not? Eh? Mm. Well, you get the bar, get us a drink. Yes, dear. I'd just like to say that I'm dead happy to have a new dad. He's not that new, really, is he? He's quite old. <laughs> There's the man who used to be my dad. I think of him more as a Big brother now. Okay, uh, thank you to the wonderful men in my life for their speeches. Now, uh, well, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. A bit like my husband, really. <laughs> I'd just like to say how much I love him and my wonderful son. Aww. Now, thank you all for coming today. It's great to see you all. Have a fantastic time and let's make it a day to remember. Thanks. <laughs> My young son's just disowned me in public. Oh, he was only having a bit of fun. What is it with you today? Me and Rachel are splitting up. She wants a divorce. What have you done now? I haven't done anything. I've never been more successful. I've never been a better husband. Well, there must be some reason. She reckons we got married for the wrong reasons. The wrong reason? It's not as if she married you for your money, then I don't know if you didn't have any. What is she talking about? She's determined. Ah, it'll be at all moments. They'll be bouncing around like bingo balls at the moment. Look, she'll be all right once she's had the baby. I don't think so. It is your baby, isn't it? Of course it is. And she wouldn't do anything like that. She wouldn't. Hey, you just want to make sure that you're not paying for somebody else's five minutes of pleasure. Don't talk about her like that. Well, it's good timing, isn't it, On our wedding day. I've known for a few days. I didn't want to break it to you till after this. I mean, sorry about telling you now, but you keep asking me what's wrong. I'm sorry, so I'm sorry, it must be, must be tough. Well, I've had better days. All right, Ron, what are you having? Oh, and before you're nasty, don't do Viagra. Hey, listen, lad, it's Niagara I need. 
to keep it down. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> you got enough room there? Hang on. Hey, Bev, Jackie, Rachel, come here. Let's have a proper family group. Use the digi camera. What's that, Max, isn't here? Oh, we'll digitise him in later on. That way he can stick in our expression. I like on his face. Josh, come on, you get in. Steve, will you take this photo? <laughs> come on. Now, look, no messing about. This is one for the history books. Are you ready? After three, dickos. Are you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> dickos! <laughs> Very good. Now, come on, one more for luck. Change places. Come on. <laughs> It's cooler. Must be a good sign. I'm never gonna let him out from the sight again. Is he gonna be alright? Alright. Look at him. He'd look all right. How much did you take? I don't know. I didn't give him any, honest. What did you take? What else? You idiot! You idiot! I wouldn't have let him near it, you know that. I thought he was playing upstairs. If he doesn't come out of this, he will, won't he? We just hope so. You better go, Ali. No, I want to stay. Do as you're told. Wait. What? Go and tell the doctors we know exactly what you took. I don't want to speak to you. Stay here. Don't move. I'm so sorry, Ruth. I never wanted to hurt him. You know that. Don't talk to me. I can't even look at you. Look at him. Look at the harm you've done. One word for it. If it's a girl, they're gonna call it Stella. And Artois if it's a boy. <laughs> Lucky Mike wasn't thinking I'd flip. <laughs> Mike, let's know as soon as you hear any news, son, okay? Yeah, I will do. You all just carry on, don't worry about us. Mm, that's nice of her, isn't it, eh? I'm on my wedding day. Show stealer. Uh, 